Okay, so uh, welcome viewers, welcome to Spoon TV. We have before us here Mosrado County District number four representative, Rostalin Swakoko Dennis. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've uh, caught up with all to uh, speak directly on a trendy issue right now uh, surrounding the uh, threat of uh, death online. And uh, we. Okay, so. Uh, just to just give you a backdrop of what happened, uh, what the lawmaker posted, which has prompted us to, uh, you know, join us to uh, speak to, I mean, join us to speak to her here, is that uh, she said, I believe CDC government is after my life. I strongly believe they want to kill me there. Uh, remember these words as I speak. If I got missing, no, it's because of my belief. I'm found dead, no autopsy, please, just let me be. Government is wish hunting me. They want to kill me. In my opinion, remember me. Remember the work I have done. Just a snapshot of uh, what she posted. Honorable Lord, welcome, welcome to School TV. Thank you. Uh, we, like I said, we actually um, thought to uh, look for you to actually respond. I mean, speak more on the, the, the post you did quite recently. Uh, tell us what's the background of that post. Okay, so since 2020. In a day is very exuberant and lively for me. Whenever this night is falling and I become tormented, I have to know where to sleep. And it has been a problem. It is backed into a documented record. It's not an allegation. Um, I received an information about an assassination threat on my life. 2020, and I was told not to be at my house. I followed that and I was not at my house. It actually happened on a Tuesday, and then on a Thursday, uh, there was this unknown guy who entered my house. The Thursday of last week, or it took him back? No, no, back I'm, in 2020. Yes, because okay. you asked about the yeah. train of peace. Yeah. And so they entered my house, they went, go to my door, and then my laptop, my various my mummies, they were all there. Usually in Liberia, when you have water in your house, even your dishes, your pen will go. So I kind of thought, who can this be? After I received this intelligence, could not sleep in my house for the next seven days. I received it on Tuesday and, and Thursday night. That did happen. Since that time, I have been living to multiple places. And I have suffered a lot because it's affecting my life. It's affecting my family. I have a child. I have my mother and the impacted to me. But I don't sleep near my children anymore because of my involvement in government. Prior to getting in government, I wasn't a haunted person. I wasn't a fugitive in my own country. I'm just a very blunt and bold person who sees things as it is and I just want to contribute to the transformation, the, uh, 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 reformation of Liberia. Because of my critical stance, my lead on the war platform, I feel I have been haunted by this government. So I feel I have been haunted by this government. The way they handle the issue of the war platform, the constant um, deprivation of the resolution to get on the floor, and uh, every time the resolution lost. So I believe that they have been feeling me back. They don't have sufficient reason to believe they come up until the, the fund has increased. Uh, people are doing. Um, Almost in the midnight, I ran 11 o'clock, and they asked him for these new locations of mine. They have in my picture, and I go to my host place to hide, and they also have my host picture. Even currently, my host is not even at his residence because uh, they have his picture, and he's so afraid because so people who will host me, if they will also be targeted, then it's a problem. So I got to my conclusion. Um, so my belief that I will believe that this government is after me is the case that is currently I'm now a part of it, I've been dragged into it. And I guess this government just wanted to hear that I'm doing some um, legal battle. So like I said, everywhere you go, the master is involved, the, uh, the master has interest in X, Y, Z. So um, when I'm getting confused on the court issue, like I've been arrested, and if you look at the trend of lawmakers, Lawmakers have committed heinous crimes, but they've never been arrested. The former lawmaker, Willie, there was issue of a rape of a 13 year old girl. He was never arrested. That's a capital offense, first degree felony. Um, the Tyler case, Tyler was never arrested. The Edward Card case, he was never arrested. The procedure you can do to get um, 
and not make a reason. So the capital building is a political program, then you get political news. So the master wants to arrest the master on you, incarcerated, and it's something that has been too much for me, and I've been nursing this pain and since 2020, so I think it's about time that I've been vocal. I think it's about time that I say it out with a way for secret or mysterious killings in Liberia. I could be the next victim, and someone could tell you I, got, I died from sickle cell, which I never suffer from sickle cell, or they will say uh, I died from diabetes, I don't have malaria. So let me say it, I don't want to touch it, because with the attack on my life, I might be dead. Yeah, yeah Honorable, uh, I want us to do a little connection of uh, this case that came up on you. Uh, a rate of arrest was issued on the 22nd of yeah. April, yeah. that is in this month. Yeah. And it didn't take long, we saw this post from you. Yeah. What's the connection? Uh, I believe that uh, the government is doing witch hunting. And everywhere I go, the master is the, master is the one behind the rid of the race. Who's the master? Uh, I just hear the master. The master. Okay. Uh, so it is this master that has control over. But when you talk about the CDC led government, yeah. and everyone, we will talk about the president yeah, who is no, the head yeah, of the who is the head of the government. In the so One of your posts you mentioned the CDC. Yeah, is, the, is that believe, is that your official page, right? I believe yes, it's my official page. It's my it's my rating. I have attested to that, and I would love to be called by the justice ministry. I will tell him the the confrontation that we had, and I will also want to believe that he's also involved with this. Uh, this is a fear to see a lawmaker who should be putting for an agenda to protect the people and she's raising a red flag that her life is at uh, risk. So let's look at this issue. We met with the solicitor, the city solicitor, and she, uh, that is, he talked about issues involving you, that you took your men to a little house, allegedly, and her properties got damaged. And that is why you are at the court. Can you bring us up to speed as it relates to your court battle? Okay, since you quoted the city solicitor, it is now before the stepping of the magistrate. Mm -hmm. We were before the court today. He has advised strongly that we don't uh, bring too much uh, publicity in the case so that it doesn't affect the genuity of the case, so that it doesn't have prejudice. However, indeed, I was summoned by the court for a conference of a lady who has alleged that my man went to her house and took things because she owed me some money. When I went to the court, I wasted one month and one week in a conference that I consider as just a useless process because I submitted myself to the court and a discussion went. So we were waiting for uh, the magistrate to rule, but apparently the master, so I don't want to go, I just want to respect the magistrate, and I think the stepping general magistrate now is the head of the Pinsley Magisterial Court, and I want to re uh, respect him on that. Mm -hmm. The case will spend more than 30 days in the Magisterial Court, so I believe right after his decision, I'll be able to talk more about this case, and I'll be able to also talk about my observation in the but, case. But, 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 so but, I, as, a, I, as a matter of law, anybody can take your name and say you did something to them. That should be so, uh, you what? Should be to you, when you, in, in your Facebook post, yeah. you you try to go a little bit into the case. Yeah. You talk about how some of your guys and some some affiliates of you went at a particular place and had some confrontation with some people there, yeah. and you later on arrive, uh, and at that time the entire thing has already, you know, ceased. Yes, I said. That. Yes, uh, but there are other allegations. This morning, a, a guy who claimed, I mean, an individual who claimed to be a partner of the lady who owns the shop claimed that you took some individuals there and vandalized the entire place. Uh, just from, uh, you know, an explanatory standpoint, what actually transpired at that place? So like I said, that's why the judicial branch was established. There will always be confrontation between both parties. So nobody should shy away from the court. Once you allege, you must be able to prove. And uh, when you prove, the, 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 the evidence shift for the one who proved, now to the defendant to prove that has been not do it. However, they cannot allow us to go in the case. I think they are they, they, they are all for I felt they were all for defamation of character, I felt they were all for corruption and exploitation until master is getting involved. I have never been arraigned before the court. It was only in a conference that we're having. Now we are before the court. I'm talking about what transpired at this shop. The shop that has been alleged, according to the rate you, you destroyed television, sarcoin, other things. What happened there? I don't want to go into it. 
to the case mm. for, uh, because the stepping level magistrate have already won. Someone accused me of something that I know nothing about, and I want to believe that I will not even be on that route. Was there any, any time in any case that you took two of your colleagues? There's been alleged that you took two of your colleagues around that same area and uh, there was some level you know altercation that occurred again that's the allegation I'm we care to respond to two of your colleagues um uh, from the from the capitol building elliot according to the information and uh your one of your closest friends member bridge mesa how can you respond to that is that is that a factual information i don't even remember i've got no idea sorry about that okay uh thank you basically we We've been looking for you relating to your post. Thank you. But as a lawmaker, you know the law better than us because you are the one, you know, providing these laws. Have you been able to reach out to the Justice Department or, yeah, the police, everyone included, uh, to say, hey, this is what happened so they can provide security for you? Or have you reached out to your leadership at the legislature to say this is what happened in my life is not safe no more people are after me because facebook post may just be a mere post and people may just see it as a political way of you know putting for your point in order to get reelected. well i want to just disabuse the minds of people who think that facebook post they get people reelected. there are thousands of people who protest they post on facebook they get reelected. However, yes, I have done an official communication to the host on this current event. In the past, I did an official communication to the Liberian National Police, to the House of Representatives. I was never called by the host. The parent, the master intervened. The police did go to my office uh, two years ago. They had an uh, interrogation. However, they did not get back to me uh, on the result of the interrogation. The parent, the master also please support them. So finally, I want us to, I know you won't go into the nitty gritty of this entire case, but I want us to go back to your post. You, you, you clearly confirmed that there were some affiliates of yours that went at that particular place. Yes. Who are those? And if, if, if you, are they that close to you? If so, have you taken any action against them? I said there was altercation with my staff in this lady mm -hmm. who, who self-proclaimed to be my sister and who has up to 18,000 US dollars for me. So one of the staff that she got issue with is one of the person who took the last money for her. In fact, she, you know, I don't want to get into the case because if I continue to get into the case, then I will have the continue of the court. Okay. So I say just give me 30 days and let's respect the matter. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, and we wish you uh, all, the best. all the best, and we hope you protect yourself so you can die. Uh, tomorrow. Thank yeah. you so much. I do appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you, bro. Okay.